uh we're just going to brush real quick uh uae warriors they reported that uh they would do an all african card right uh an all african card but it's going to be in abu dhabi uh so what do you think about this do you think it's good for african mma do you think uh we'll go how do you think we're going to uh, develop or how should i say how do you think we're going to benefit from this and who do you think would be on the card um i'm happy that i'm for me it's a welcome development um i think that we need more leagues to do things like that um african focused like african focused cards and you think about the UFC, the UFC every time. If UFC goes to Brazil, they, they start the card with Brazilian fighters. They go to Australia, okay. do the same thing there. So I think this, this is a, it's a good idea. Uh, and, it's, and again, Af the African fighters need, especially the ones that are trying to move on to the, you know, to the UFC and things like that, they need more, more visibility. And the UAE Warriors, they have a good alliance with the UFC. Um, and, and, and they have proper promotion as well. So I think that that's good for our fighters. Um, who would I like to see there? I think the winners... The winner of AKO show the first time, I forget his name. Ndidi. I know his name Indeedy. is in my mind right now. His name yeah. is Ndidi. Ndidi, I don't know. Mm. I think Ndidi needs to be on that card. I think Shagun, Machine Gun Shags, Ogun Noiki has to be on that card. Um, those two guys for sure need to be on the card. I think out of, I think out of Nigeria, those guys are, in my opinion, probably the best guys that we have now. And they're not very young. Uh, how about the Mar Mar Marine, Marine boxer, Cornell? I'm not sure if uh, you saw his fight when you, you got to the AKO. Yeah, you know what? I think that you... I think the, so, to be fair, I think those, the guys who did that show season one, maybe the top five guys, uh, I think they have a good chance of, you know, I, I think they should, they should all get the chance to be on that card as well. Um, uh, I think your guy, you know, you guys signed this new guy. I know you, I know we're going to get to that in the future, you know, Baba. Yeah, well, I was, I, well. I, I was going to sneak his name in there for free promo. So, yeah, <laughs> Jibrin Baba, uh, like, but I've called him the Black Venom. You guys should watch out for him. We are trying to get him on that card as well. So, um, yeah, so uh how about the guys from south africa the guys from efc the guy from uh, guys from angola zimbabwe um, congo efc guys i think yeah was, i think when well, the first time they went there it wasn't a good showcase for them you know what i'm saying but i guess now that it's an all african card obviously all the champions you need to be there i don't know that they benefit too much honestly because those guys are pretty like efc guys are pretty like they get enough enough um like people know them already i think the ufc is aware of because UFC has a good relationship with efc as well I think I think it's even more, it's even stronger than the one they have with the UA Warriors. Mm. Um, but I think just just for activity sake, I think Temba Gorimbo needs to go in there again. Um, I forget their names now. Uh, Kayemba. All those all, all the guys, Kayeba. This uh, guy, I think there's this guy. guy this guy feels. I I feel like this guy has already been has already signed with them. Uh, this their former two time two division champion. Oh gosh, I forgot uh, his I forgot his name. Farouk will will, will remember because Farouk likes that guy. Uh, uh, okay, okay, so um, we'll just leave that real quick. Thank you guys for supporting the African fighters. Please click, click on the subscribe button um, so that you will be informed whenever we post a video. And also, show us support, take us to 1000 subscribers. We really appreciate all the support, all the love. Thank you. Come on, Africans! Ah,